All right, first I'll show you the program working. So you can see that if I run the program, as I select each record, it populates this text box, which I made look like a label. And then if I uncheck this, so we'll look at April showers, and I update it, then it unchecks April showers. With a little bit of code, we could also handle this checkbox, but right now I'm only handling this one checkbox. So I'll go up here to John Smith. I can uncheck him as a member, update, and you can see I changed the Boolean variable. All right, let's go in and set a breakpoint so you can see where the code is. So I'm going to set a breakpoint right here. And this is going to happen when I click the update button. So I run the program again. And then I'll go back to April Showers. I'll make her a member. Click update. And you can see this is where we get the checkboxes too, but you can see I'm going into the data set. I'm getting the tables, the rows, the current rows, the ID. So I'm finding the ID and storing it in this ID. If I step through it once, you can see that this ID is now 35, which was what, uh, it's not showing. Now I've hard coded uh, a comment here. So you can see that my SQL is update user list, the table, and I'm going to set the username to be equal to, this is hard-coded in. You can see username is a string, so I put quotes around there, single quotes. And then is member is Boolean, so I just put true, which is a Boolean value, where ID, the field, equals, and I get a hard code in 33. So now this is my SQL with my variables. So I can see that mem check is member is true. I can see text username is April showers at test, and I can see that this ID is 35. So if I step over this, I can now look at my SQL statement right here, and I can make sure that it's everything is valid. So here's this is very similar to my hard-coded value. So I look at what my hard-coding is and make sure all my quotes are right, my commas and my spaces. It is, so I can step, step through it, set my connection, set my connection open, do my SQL string with my command, and I'm just going to go and run. So now again with test x, I can set it as a member, update, and again, it'll go right through and set, set my values. And there it did my test update.